Hi there, everybody. Welcome back to Idiot Channel International. I'm entering today. We play some more Hearts of Iron 4. In the last episode, we managed to finish our invasion of Yugoslavia and Romania. Now we have our own faction, and uh, I think that only Bulgaria is there. Let me check. Yep, the Italian League. Um, what we are going to do today, we are going to build up a stronger army. We have also a mission that I risk to fail if I was checking, if I don't take a um, very quick measure and probably release a lot of greens that I then have to train later. Well, that's not efficient, but c'est la vie. Um, I'm going to fail this mission. I would avoid to do that. So we are trying to occupy now Albania. We have to get ready and uh, attack France, because that's our goal. France will uh, enter in a war in September 39. Now I have to check how much time I need when I justify war goal against France. Let's say they want to take Corsica. We need 160 days. Okay, it's a little bit less than, uh, than six months, so five, let's say five months. Uh, which means that I would have, I would have to start uh, um, claiming Corsica. Five months before September. Okay, let's say that by end of March, beginning of April, uh, thirty-nine, we have to do that. But now it's not time yet, so we can we can relax a little bit. Limited conscription. I keep it as it is, but I'm going to change it very soon. What I'm going to do? Ah, but I have I have my guys in in in, in the pipeline. I don't think that this is enough. So let me check how many how many troops I have on the ground. 541 and I think I need 750, right? That's a desperate thing. I, I won't be able to do that. Let me train more infantry. If I train more infantry... Uh... Oh god. I have no infantry equipment. Shit. What? We're missing 8,000 rifles. Okay, the war has been... The, the, war, has... the war has been... Uh, the, re the war has been pretty bad. <clears throat> Let's stop uh, building uh, um, improved light tanks. We will need them, but not now. Let's move more uh, into infantry equipment. Probably. Yeah, that's it. Let me see if I can trade. Okay, I would need a little bit more tungsten, but that's something that I can also avoid. Veneto is going to get a refinery, and then we move uh, on our sieve. Okay, fine. Let's unpause the game and let's get ready. I'm not really sure if I will uh, manage to fulfill the mission, but I'll do my best. So the colonial, colonial guys are going to support an Africa. I, by the way, I'm going to delete this line and I'm going to add uh, here the line. I'm also going to uh, promote uh, um, <laughs> Messe to Field Marshal. Because now what we need in, in Europe is my best buddy. And now we are giving, uh, instead of Graziani, we are putting here Messe. And instead of Adoglio, we are putting Graziani. Alright. The new infantry general is going to be, let's see uh, if I can get someone good. Here we have also, we have only infantry, so well, well, well. Baldassare is pretty good. Old guard, but reckless. Uh, engineer and fortress buster. Bergonzoli is amazing because he's an infantry officer which, uh, with also some special forces traits. Let's give the promotion to my, my guy. So offensive doctrine, 100%. And division recovery rate. Charismatic. Well done. And here we get the camouflage expert out, oh, but later. Fine. Let me have a look at the airplanes now. Our Air Force should start moving towards uh, Torino, Piedmont in general. Because we have to get ready. I think I can avoid now. Yeah. The Gonzoli on the Russian border makes uh, very little sense. Here we have to fill Vecchiarelli's uh, units. 
which makes fully sense that they stay here on the Alps, but at the moment they don't have enough enough people. Okay, the infantry equipment minus seven thousand nine hundred is brutally. Um, it, it, that, that's a very bad news because in forty six days we will never be able to fill the infantry that we have here. Of course, we can now drop the colonial, but um, that's not going to help. Okay, we uh, are sending now the ultimatum to Albania and we start the new industrialization program, which is going to give us a very, very solid uh, industrial advantage. Albania yields, wonderful. So now we have also the oil and then we also have the chromium and aluminium. Maybe also the rifles. Yes, sir. Look at this, minus 1,100. And we are building our, our civilian factories. How are we doing here? The civilian factories 25, 52 in total. Let's uh, start increasing. Alto Adige has a lot of aluminium, which we are going to need. So I'm going to increase the infrastructure here. And then we do another couple of uh, military factories. Which are there. They're going then in, in tanks, uh, in, in rifles again. This guy should definitely go here. And now we have a better artillery as well. Okay, let me have a look. Yeah, it's time to study the improved equipment, but not really, not yet. Let's study the better mountaineer. Let's build the, uh, the new artillery, which can be already assigned to Breda. Wonderful. It's pretty good. Okay, now we have 15 out of 16 uh, factories building rifles, infantry equipment. They call them rifles, but you know what I mean. Uh, getting faster and faster, but we have only 24 days. And honestly speaking, uh, look at those guys. Okay, they have they are missing now support equipment. Okay, well, I don't know what to do. Sacred colonial units, those 12 boys are going to Africa. We can give, uh, for the time being, Praska is defending pretty well. No, actually, wrong. Let's move them in here, except for one that goes to Libya. That's better. Okay, let me have a look now. How many days? 19 days. How much manpower are we missing? Why I didn't notice before? Okay, 600k. We will never manage. I have been really bad in this, but... Is as it is. Water reconnaissance uh, could be very useful. Let me see what I can improve in fiat, agility, range, and reliab reliability bonus. Attack plus ten percent. Wow! Seriously, that's a that's a massive bonus. I didn't know that fiat makes made so crazy good airplanes, right? Now we are changing also our fighters. <clears throat> Start the training everywhere. Ah, nothing. We have enough infantry equipment, we don't have the support equipment now, so... I could drop them. Let's see if it works. But it's not going to work. Oh, 724 for real. No, come on, for 26,000 uh, soldiers. And in nine days, I'm not able to do anything here. Come on, that, that's such a big, that's such an epic fail from my side. Epic fail, guys, epic fail. All right, uh, what are we going to do with the next meals then? We learned the lesson. Let's double the support equipment production. Because we need it. We need a lot of that. Let me have a look where I can power up a little bit my army. Um, I have uh, a little bit of artillery, light tank destroyers, light tanks, but yeah, we failed, we failed. I'm sorry. Well, I'm very sorry about that. 
now we can move to the extensive conscription. The training time is increasing, but finally we can hire, uh, we can recruit more people because now we have a zero, a big fat zero, which is not not good at all. Okay, it's January. Let's keep it in mind. We need now to think about the defense in Africa. We need infantry here. We need to think about the defense here in um, in Ethiopia, or that's also another option. I release Ethiopia as a puppet, and I, I think I'm going to do that. Even if originally I said I'm not going to do that, I think that I'm going to release uh, Ethiopia, Eritrea as a puppet. I cannot do it because they don't have the compliance. Wow. Wow. I wasn't aware. So I'm going, I will have to defend them. Shit. I need to think how to defend the line, so I will probably bring uh, Bergonzoni in Africa. Hopefully, uh, Stalin will be a good boy for a while. Maybe, hopefully. So, we go here. Hey, my friend. And here. Okay, perfect. So now we have our African divisions. Uh, okay, we have to expand the Air Force. Let's hope that we are not failing those to this one. <clears throat> total fighters 667, total cast 593. Naval bombers, tactical bombers. I have to do all of this, I will never manage. <laughs> <We're never met. laughs> Shit. New industrialization program. Now, let's go back to the to the army. Moscatier del Duce is not what I need. I would need a Super Esercito. Let's get their innovation so maybe we can work a little bit more, a little bit better there. Um, in Trentino now, uh, or Sud Tirol, as you prefer, we are having the 80% infrastructure. In Veneto, we are building the mills that are going to support uh, um, weapons. Okay, it's January. I still need to, to be careful, but we are getting there. We are, we are getting there, guys. Okay. Um, okay. You stay in Africa. Put him at the end. This boy is going to uh, push here, but we're giving the following order. And so Vecchiarelli will definitely stay on the line. Well, here I need to get some people. Maybe I could I could do it with the artillery uh, to prepare a naval offensive from Genoa to Marseille, which I cannot do yet. Let me see. Yep, I can. Fine. Now it's February. We have a research slot available. Let's. Uh, Let's have a look if I can build... Oh, the computing machine I forgot last year. And here, I definitely need someone defending. So, I'm going to take... Um, let's say... This infantry... Not anymore staying in Africa. Only seven units, but that's gonna be okay. We give them to Cavallero and we create a fallback line here. And uh, probably, I would say another fallback line in Roma. 
Because I want to have some divisions. I want to have some divisions also on the capital and uh, in case of uh, naval attack, we will be able to respond. So here, it's, that's going to be enough. That's definitely going to be enough. And instead of building too many infrastructure before the ports, let's do this. Start building some some uh, boards to protect us. Okay, perfect. So now what we are gonna do? Cryptology. Let's start. Uh, France is actually not gonna be useful. Let's start the cryptology in the UK. And let's move our spy network in France. Oh, it's bad. We can start in March. Let's say we can definitely start in March. All right. Are we ready? Let's move the fleet to Genova. And the Air Force should be now here. Air innovation. We have to do some trainings. And by the way, we also need to... Yeah, we can we can deploy some cuffs already. Not, not fighters yet. But fine. We use what we have. And they go training. So Cittadellaria. Uh, flying school. <clears throat> Let's start. Okay, so we are justifying the war goal, which is the conquer of Corsica. We need 165 days now. On the 6th of March, by the end of August, we should be done. If I didn't do any mistake. <laughs> which, can, which is possible, I can't, I don't know. And now the Frenchies are, of course, pushing their troops also on the Alps, uh, preventing us to do to any any damage, but we're gonna try to uh, take Toulon, and then Marseille, and then let's see. Brothers, Radio detection, radar station. Oh, what we need. Let's become a spy master. This is going to give us some advantages. And let me see. So the construction. Okay, now the forts in Africa are done. Oh, I forgot a very important topic, man. I need to. Okay, I need to deploy these other colonial um, troops. This is going. Um, here. Now Baldassare can do that. Okay. That looks good. Auto reconnaissance, that's going to be useful later on. Okay. Okay, guys, it seems that everything is almost ready. Of course, we miss a lot of infantry equipment, a lot of support equipment, because we keep... Okay, I have to stop now with the troops. In Africa, we will fight with what we have for the time being. We need to we need to fill up uh, the support equipment and the infantry equipment because we need to... So, I mean, we, we, we can't lose our um, weapons, no? Look at this. By the way, France and the UK are losing a ton of material and men uh, on the Alps because of the attrition. Our fleet is pretty good. Not everybody is trained, but that's not a big deal. Our mountaineers are now improved. That's amazing. And I think I can start the new support companies. Great. 21st of April. 
things are just about to get fun. So let me check. Current fighters deployed 400. And they need to uh, acquire or produce 300 new fighters. Okay. Total fighters goal 667. And I, we have like 400. Okay, so now there is a lot, a lot to do. I don't understand why the... We get a lot, uh, so many closer support, but not uh, um, fighters. Probably because I didn't use the closer support in Yugoslavia and Romania. But we lost a lot of fighters there. Okay. As you can see, I'm now trying to increase my Air Force uh, modifiers, because we will need them. Okay. And I think that here, this is just a, a big trap for, for the Allies, so they will try to push me, they will eventually win, probably, in, uh, in Ethiopia, in Eritrea, but uh, we will do our best to make them suffer. Let's give also some artillery. Uh, to the colonial that's adding a little bit of spice then good luck to them you know and let's build now the better recon companies perfect look at look that our um intelligence system is already working here on the border i really like this and i want to check if we have the radar no not not yet 90 days but maybe we managed to buy a radar before the war starts Maybe. I that's an exception. I'm not keeping eight meals uh, on support equipment, but I miscalculated so badly that now I need to uh, push. Otherwise, my support companies will be crap. They they're gonna be completely useless. Um, what I also gonna do? I'm going to push in Lyon, and uh, and get there as soon as possible, because they have their yeah. They can bring so the French army is supplied by Lyon from the mainland, the inland, and from Marseille. And we will try to pick both. And now we can definitely double up the amount of uh, fighters that we produce. And luckily, we have enough rifles, so infantry equipment, we can start modernizing our infantry with a better one. Not bad. Oh, look at those boys. Look at those boys. Hmm. Hey. Perfect. Okay, we are full of oil. Let's uh, do some naval training. Perfect. Very good. Now let me check. So many airplanes, right? What we have also to do... Uh, in Turin, we have to power up a little bit our... And another idea that I didn't think about is uh, to claim the Balearis, uh, the, the Baleari in Italian, Las Baleares in Spanish. So I'm going to do it now. Let's see if Franco will uh, accept and, uh, let's say, reward us for supporting him in the civil war with the islands. Because they are going to be useful. They're going to be useful to invade Spain later on. <laughs> I'm such a son of a... Expand the Air Force, yeah? We we have this, right? But why now I need 789 fighters? So he's increasing the... He's increasing the request, Benito. Son of a... Man, no, why do you do this? I will never manage. I will never ever manage. Come on, that was mean. That was really mean. <laughs> It seems that the um, 
British, uh, the Brits are now far away from the Alps because before I saw uh, British forces and French forces, now I don't. I see more units in uh, Corsica. Definitely Africa here, it's, uh, they are not going to do anything here. And also here the Brits, I have no clue, I have no clue. In 25 days we have to start building the radar station. Why am I building also silos? Because I don't have enough um, stockpile for fuel, so I want to stock uh, stockpile when I'm not using it. And I need, anyways, the refineries because I'm missing the rubber. So it will be faster building trucks if I have more rubber. Okay, what's the status here? My boys are almost trained. They can fight pretty well. Even if it's, you see, you see them. Well. Yeah, it's, it's, it's not gonna be easy. It's not gonna be easy, I tell you. Okay, we have the justification now for two months. We can declare war until the 19th of October, uh, if I'm right. So now it's the 21st of August, 1939. Soon, Germany and the Soviet Union will start the Second World War by invading Poland. Wow, it, they, they heard me. And uh, Franco gave up the Balearic Island. This is a great, this is really a great thing. This is really a great thing. I don't need the Albanian oil. I think I can go for the Culto del Duce. No, actually, I have another idea. I have another idea. Let's, let's take the artillery. And then... Uh, and then we are going to... So I don't forget. Uh, then we are going to unlock the Super Esercito as soon as we are in a war against the Major, meaning France. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Let's stop the training here. Let's stop the training here. Let's stop the training also here. Let's say already the um, naval invasion support should work. Not really. I think I made a mistake. Yeah, perfect. And now let me check. We have. Uh, yeah. We're not doing so bad, we're not doing so good, but all together. Fine. All together things looks good. So, guys, Germany declared war on Poland. I think that uh, right now France declared war on Germany. Declared war on Germany. The Germans cannot uh, uh, march to Paris because they have to go through the Maginot Line in Alsace Lorraine, and uh, I believe that they won't do it. So because we have the historical path, we are almost sure that they will invade Belgium and Luxembourg and then try to reach Paris from the north. Why we will try now to encircle the army which is sitting here uh, on the Alps, which is very small to be honest. And uh, the French are now moving the troops uh, towards the German, it's obvious. And we will try to take the south and then run to uh, Paris using the Cheddar Division, which by the way I forgot to improve, and that's gonna be uh, bad because now I have to change the uh, that's that's a mistake, but I'm going to fix it now. And I'm going to uh, add maybe some light tanks. It, that that should be fine. That should be fine. I should have the uh, the capacity. And now with this uh, Cheddar division, we can go uh, to Paris because we are pretty fast. We we do eight kilometers per hour, and maybe we can capitulate France before the Germans uh, do it. And since we are in a different faction, we can then close the peace for ourselves um, and try at least to invade uh, the UK. Uh, the big challenge will be to hold in Africa, not on the side of Tripoli, but on the side of Tuvaluk, the um, Egyptian side, and in Ethiopia. Even if what I see here is that the Allies are moving their troops away, 
and they're leaving us really with uh, a very very easy target at least uh, this one is a very easy target i could try to i could try to take this territory and if i do that then i can move all my troops on this other border uh, but i'm not going to push i'm just going to hold and maybe hope uh, for the best that they are falling in the trap and i will be pushing to uh Elenain and then alexandria in a second stage i would say a third one so first step take paris second step uh, try to invade england from the sea if we manage to deal with their fleet and third one take cairo or the other way around let's see guys thank you for watching i hope you appreciate it please consider leaving a thumbs up and a comment and we see each other next time